the big thing in this game was early in the game just terrible miscues that just you know took took all the not even took the wind out of the sails because we came back and did it again and got all the way down the field and did it again um obviously early in the game um josh allen has the first pick um looked to be a miscommunication between him and gabe davis um what i'm really interested in 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 this particular play is the very obvious pass interference that didn't get called the play before um dawson knox gets you know straight up like bear hugged before the ball gets there um and you know it it's it's never fun you know playing the result in like the the what could have happened game uh but based on the amount of times that the bills were willing to do you know their version of the tush push the snow plow whatever you want to call it uh i'd like to think first and goal from the one ends up being a very different result um than having thrown the interception um but you know that that was the first of the miscues um from josh allen who was immensely frustrating but also um just heroic and put up ridiculous numbers and you know part of it is he he has to have this prolific game um to bail them out because of mistakes early in the game um but he's also able to do it so um roller coaster ride and and i'll say this about alan um i've been i've been saying for quite some time um he's got shades of brett Favre to me where he's believes he can make every single throw um, and that's going to come with some turnovers. It's going to come with some variants. I'm perfectly okay with that because of how much he can do to, you know, put the offense on his back, whether it's with his arms, with his legs. Um, uh, that being said, three in a game is a lot. Uh, you're not usually overcoming that. Um, in particular, in particular, the, the timing of them. And the area of the field, you know, go all the way down the field. You're about to get at least a field goal and, you know, no points go on the board. Um, so that was the the first frustration of the game. Um, I'm going to be honest. I, I was taking notes like a madman during this game. Uh, I'm so excited about the way this season ended. I'm, I'm a little bit all over the place tonight. Um, but I have a bunch of things I want to talk about. Um, the second thing that frustrated me with Allen um, was the missed shot to Diggs. And this to me has been, it's, it's been happening too much. It's become a trend. And we talk about, you know, some of the these down games Diggs has had. Um, for what it's worth, there's been a few of those shots that look to be available that they're just not clicking on. And there's at least, you know, at least two in the last three weeks. And all of a sudden, if he puts up one of those, we're not having any digs conversations. You can look at the box score. You can see the stats. You know, very obviously that, you know, he had a monster game. Um, but, you know, still still a good game out of digs. It was, you know, the kind of game that I was hoping to see from him. Um, back on track, seven catches on eight targets for 87 yards. Like, Cool. That's that's the digs I wanted to see going into the playoffs. Um, it was it was great to see it in this game. Um, but to me, a touch concerning. Um, just that they're still missing on those shot plays because um, they're there, right? Um, the second interception. I've seen a ton of, um, you know, this coming out as like the the defense of the arm punt whatever um this play was on fourth and two so a as the play breaks down like yeah i'm i'm fine with trying to force a throw worst case scenario gets picked off it's probably probably better than the punt um whatever uh kudos to miami for trying to take it out uh and work out too great for them um but this one as the play started developing it it looked like kincaid was pretty wide open for you know, just getting the first down. And this looked like one of one of the plays where um, Josh Allen decides he's going big game hunting. Um, 
and to me that's that's the that's the type of turnover like yeah when push comes to shove um sure i can accept that as an arm pun it's not the worst turnover in the world um but i also feel like the a situation like that is what in the in the future leads to not having the trust to to go for it in fourth downs and spots right you know the that play was drawn up by brady it was open for the first down and we went for more um and and to me that's the type of situation where if we're not making the smart play if we end up with a negative result that should have been a very positive result uh deep you know deep into the opponent's territory that that's going to be the type of thing that gets the coach to be a bit more conservative in those situations um so overall i think allen had a pretty pretty good day you know taking the profits um but on a play like that 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 has to be the play that's made that had to go to kincaid um and then the i believe it was the following drive um the fumble by allen right in the pocket again deep into miami territory and this one was just torrents getting absolutely blown up and th this is the type of play where i need josh allen to just just accept it get down um i mean this isn't like he got hit from the blind side this is right in his face and he ends up fumbling this ball and it's a super costly turnover um so th this is that fumble is actually the the turnover that i have i take the most issue with um because it's just it's that let's live to see another play and you know as we watch the rest of the game we we see what happens when you know decisions like that are made and we play for the next play when things don't work out and it's you know a ridiculously talented offense um so those are the ones that i don't want to see um so just looking at some of the miscues in this game uh we had james cook drop a touchdown right in the end zone um Ty Johnson before the half gets down to the one yard line. And the clock runs out. I've also seen uh, a ton of a ton of hate on Allen for this one for not throwing it into the end zone. Um, look, I get it that you know as as time's about to be expiring, it's got it's supposed to go to the end zone. You know, so it's either a touchdown or an incompletion, whatever. Um, I have a hard time jumping on board with that criticism. I, I get it. Like that's that's the smart football play, whatever. Um, but Ty Johnson's able to get that ball like one foot further, and nobody's talking about you know. Oh, we got lucky that Josh Allen made the wrong play and it worked out. It's oh, what a brilliant play to you know find him and let him scoot into the end zone right before half. I I get it, right? You want to either, you know, have the touchdown or the incompletion. Um, again, to me, that's just a little bit too much playing the result. And we're having a whole different conversation um, if, if he if he hits on that. Um, so, I mean, right there, we're talking three turnovers that were in scoring position. Um, we had, like I said, the cook drop and the Ty Johnson um, getting stopped at the one we're talking five possessions right there and i'm not even saying you know these are all touchdowns right I, i'll i'll put it to even like if they're all field goals um you're talking about 36 14 um <clears throat> going back to the the one that i talked about with the Knox interference on the play before i like to think that the bills are getting that in and this is where i like when I say I feel like the Bills really dominated this game way more than the scoreboard's going to show, there was so much left on the field. And, like, that's that's great to be able to play like that and still be able to come away with the win. Um, I feel like this has kind of been the, the mantra of this season and, like, games that we won. It's like, hey, you know, there's some great tape to clean up and you were able to do it in a win like 
this is the best version of that like you were able to do it to secure the division to secure the two seed like awesome that buffalo bills team could have damn probably dropped a 50 burger on miami last night if we didn't keep blasting ourselves in the foot um we've gotten away with a ton of that this year it's also cost us a ton this year and I guess this would be my biggest thing headed into the playoffs um, concern wise is, is it going to be, is this going to show up in the playoffs and be the one that we can bounce back from? Or is it the one um, that we're not able to overcome? And who knows? I would love to see, you know, just a clean game on both sides of the ball and if we have the defense playing like they were last night with the offense taking care of the ball, moving it like that, maybe taking a couple less chances, there's not a team in the league that wants to play that Bills team in the playoffs. It's all a matter of putting it together.